James Schramko here with the Internet Marketing News, coming to you from the countryside in Italy. All right, let's talk about getting traffic from different platforms. If you have a course or an e-product, it's great to put uh, your course on your own website, one that you own and control. But there are other platforms you can also put it. One to have a look at might be Udemy. Uh, Udemy, U-D-E-M-Y.com, is a education platform. There's also other platforms like AppSumo.com. The point is, make sure that when you're using other people's platforms, that that's not the only place that you put it, because ultimately, if you want control, you should still sell things from your own website where possible. This week in Fast Web Formula, somebody asked, should they rank for their own name? Now, I think this is really important. Your own name is uh, very, very hard sought after real estate and when people search for you to get an idea of your reputation it's good if you do come up first and even if you have someone else out there with the same name as yours unless it's something like Barack Obama then you've probably got a good chance of getting your own name to the top of Google put some good content on there and point to your other websites if you're not building out on your own domain name so make sure that you do control that because it's important when people consider you as a partner or as a joint venture uh, possibility or even if they're looking to hire you for something make sure that you put your message there for your own name if you need help with that head along to seopartner.com take out a pro pack and we'll help you rank for your own name okay so what sort of hours do you work are you working in the early morning do you work at night or do you split it up what I like to think of is uh, getting the best energy management from your day. Right now when I'm traveling, I actually carry around my notes on a little piece of paper and I'll wait for the right moment when I'm ready to deliver my news. It could be earlier, it could be late, but when it feels right, that's when I go for it. As long as I have a camera and my notes on standby, I'm able to deliver the news. When I'm at home, normally my peak times are mid-morning and then after dinner. And I guess maybe that's from working so many times after dinner in the years up until I left my job. So work out your peak time and do that. And what you'll find is you can work less hours, but if they're in your peak energy time, you'll get more done. And a little tip that I picked up from reading a book about willpower is eat something, give yourself some glucose, a little bit of fruit juice or some kind of energy food just before you work and you'll be able to actually process more in the same amount of time. Hope you've enjoyed these tips. I'm James Ramco. This is superfastbusiness.com and I'll catch up with you next week.